without any plastic touching the water, the contents inside. Let's take a look at its design and its operating features. The exterior and interior body of the kettle is made of stainless steel, with the exception of the bottom plate that connects to the power base that is made of plastic. However, in the inside of the kettle the base is covered by a stainless steel plate that separates the water from making contact with the plastic parts. The sprout comes with a detachable filter that is not easily removed, but it detaches towards the inside. Also on the inside is a water marker which indicates the maximum height you can safely fill the water to. Another feature is there is no heating element to get immersed in the water like in other models, that collects lime deposits over time. On the outer part of the kettle you have the automatic off switch which also has an LED light that illuminates when the power is on. The handle comes with a rubber coating to protect your hands from heat when handling just after boiling water. The power base is very easy to connect to and it comes with omnidirectional mounting, which means it doesn't matter which direction you rest the body of the kettle onto the base, it can rotate a full 360 degrees. Below the power base comes with a convenient hidden cord storage for neatly storing and concealing the power cable. It also comes with non-slip silicone feet. In the instruction manual, it shows that you can interchange the handle on the lid to the plastic one if you so choose, or tend to open the lid frequently after the water is boiled. However, this is not recommended, but it affords you the option to change it if you like. I will now test how long it takes for the kettle to boil 1.6 liters of water using a timer. So the timer shows the wish bottle took 7 minutes 14 seconds to boil 1.